Hey guys, so today I am going to be sewing for... I'm gonna honestly clickbait you guys by saying I'm sewing this for the first time, but I am not. Um, I have, I did sewing when I was younger, maybe like 9, 10, but I don't remember how to do it at all. We have like a bunch of crappy sewing machines that I like barely use, but I asked my mom for Christmas, I think like two years ago, for a nice, um, a nicer sewing machine. It's right here, I can try to show it to you, but... Like, I got a nice sewing machine, and I really want to just, like, give it some use, because I left it. I brought it with me to school my first year, and then the second year, I didn't, because I was like, I'm not really going to sew while I'm at school. But now that I'm home, and I'm moved in, I've got a ton, a ton of fabric. My grandma bought me a bunch of cute little fabrics um, one time. There's one more somewhere. I don't know. Oh, here's the other one of the ones that my grandma bought me. So I really want to sew with those. And then my grandma recently moved. Um, she recently moved. And there was a bunch of like cute, 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 cute fabrics. And tablecloths and such that she's, she was going to get rid of. Um, so I want to just like start my sewing journey with them. I've got like a whole other bucket down here of like tablecloths and stuff like this well this is the one that she bought me like this is a tablecloth like so cute could you imagine that as like a skirt or something uh, so cute anyways i'm really excited about it this technically sits where you're sitting but put this down here um like i got this like weird really pretty doily like i'd love to like find a way to put that on something i have this one as well that i took but it's got some stains so i'm gonna use this as like my practice sewing one so i've already tested a couple on there um, my boyfriend helped me set everything up because I was kind of struggling to, like, figure out how to, like, set up the sewing machine to, like, actually use it. Because for some reason, it, I just couldn't figure it out. But we watched a video and we figured it out. So, today we're going to sew a little out, a little top. Um, it's very, 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 very simple for what I want to do with it. And it's more of, like, an upcycling, upcycling project. And then, if I feel like this video isn't long enough, maybe we'll, like, attempt something else. Like, a little bag or something with like some other oh i have like another like doily thing that could be fun to use but maybe like a little bag or something but we'll only use like upcycling stuff for a little bit just because i'm new to it but i have this idea um long story but but um my friend had a, was creating a dance or just like the hairs all over it um was creating a dance and she had me get a white button up and then she cut it herself and then it was too short, but it is still long enough to create it into put it into a crop top. So what I want to do is crop it, like crop it like here. And then I got this pink ribbon and I want to create some bows to like sew on it and then sew this along the edge. So step one is going to be putting it on and figuring out where I'm going to crop it. Um, I also want to adjust the... I want to make these, sh the, I think I want to make the sleeves different. I think I want to make them like short. I want to make them short, a short, make it a short sleeve button up. I think, I think is what I want to do. But let's put it on. We're going to figure out what we're doing today. <sighs> okay. Okay. I think I want to keep the collar and like leave that but i think i want to i'm gonna button it up all the way and then i'm just gonna like figure out where i want it and then just unbutton the top part if that makes sense just the way that like it's kind of all together and then we'll cut where we want to crop it and we'll decide where we want the arms just to, to end let's figure it out i don't know I'll walk over here for a second Okay, I think we're going to say right above the second button is where we're going to crop it there. And then I think I may bring the sides in just a little. And then I'm going to crop that. But I think I'm just going to make this big enough to take it off my head. Okay, so I bought like this like cutting pad. So update, I've got scissors with me. I've also got my Olipop with me. Olipop, if you want to sponsor me, sponsor me. Um, I love Olipop so much. I don't know if they're actually good for you, but I like them. 
I like the grape one because it doesn't taste like anything. It tastes like the same as like anything else, I guess, if that makes sense. I'm moving everything out of the way. My setup's really cute. Um, I'm gonna do like a full house tour and like detailed house tour, but for now, I've got like this heart thing. It's got like spare buttons, it's got charms and stuff in it. But anyways, I bought this like, not too big, but just big enough for my desk cutting pad. And then I got one of these. You like push it out and then you go like this. I accidentally swiped it earlier though. My boyfriend was holding it and I like went to put something down and I swiped it with my thumb. So I'm gonna try to be super careful with it. Okay, I'm like so nervous that I'm gonna mess this up. I'm like so scared right now. Upcycling clothes, it definitely is a little bit, not easier, but like different, I feel like, from what I know. Okay, let's go ahead and make an attempt. Okay, that was something. Okay, it might not be the greatest cut, but it's fine. Put that back in. Let's put it back on. See how the crop looks, I guess. Like this. Maybe we will leave the sides out, so then I just kind of have a little bit more room. And then like this will be cropped. This will be like up, and this will just be the crop. So it like barely kind of covers my boobs. It was kind of what we're thinking. And then, I'm thinking of having the like shoulder end somewhere but i think what i'm gonna do now is just chop off a shit ton of like which is with scissors a shit ton of the show of the sleeve that way i feel like a little bit more in control yes okay i'm gonna like just cut off like Yay much. If this shirt turns out, I'll literally cry. Cause I'm not I've decided that I'm not gonna bring the shoulders in. So really? Oh no, it's fine. Guys, it's fine. Okay, so if this is it, right, and we want maybe the sleeves to end like maybe if I fold them up. Let's fold them up. Right there. Or like a little higher. I think we want the sleeves to end right about where, like if my arms are down, right next to that, I think. I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna cut just like a little bit off just so it's a little bit of a, I don't know. And then I'm gonna fold this over and I'm gonna match it, is what I'm thinking. Okay. Okay. We're killing it. Okay. So then we're gonna fold this out again. Gotta take an Olipop break. Yeah, kind of, sort of, maybe. Let's put it back on for for shits and gigs. Okay, I think what we want to do is we're gonna fold them up and then we're gonna sew officially. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it inside out. I'm so nervous, like if this doesn't turn out, I'll be so sad. If it's a flop, it'll be good content, but like, I'll be sad, so. Okay, so I'm gonna fold in these like ends, and then we're gonna try to match them. And I've got like, I thought I had sewing pins in here. Oh, they're right here. Okay, I've got pins, so I'll pin it. Um. And then we'll sew it. 
<laughs> I'm like so nervous about it though. We'll pin it and we'll try it back on again also, FYI. Okay, let's start pinning the one side and then we'll match the other one. I'm trying to like give you guys my best. Okay, first side is pinned. Now let's try the second side. Okay. I'm nervous that this is gonna look bad, but oh well. Hard on my back, brother. Okay, we're gonna put it on backwards or upside down, inside out. Okay, let's try it on. They look pretty even to each other. Let's. I'm gonna like fold them on like. Fold it in half like I did before and check. They look pretty even to me, so I think we're gonna start sewing. Um, I want you guys to be able to see this a lot better, so. Okay, everything's fine because I, it like barely stopped, so I don't know what you guys haven't seen. And if it's more than what I thought, then that's gonna suck. But we're gonna sew her up. Bye bye, else. Um, hopefully, this goes well. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, just kidding. It's fine. It's fine, guys. I'm fine. Okay, we are approaching. The end, I think. Okay, we may have had a little bit of like a ruching problem, but it looks not bad. I think I'm gonna sew if it, I think I like, I don't know what happened here, but. I wish I had like a specific jar for these guys, but I don't, so they're just gonna sit there. Okay, let's try the other side, I guess. Okay, not bad, but not great. I'll sit. Um, let's get all the pins out. Let's turn it inside out. Let's just see what happened. Let's see how it went. And remember, I'm trying to remember this is the first time I did it, and I have a second button up if I decide that this one's just like too bad. But I'm like proud of myself for even making this right now. And I feel like sleeves are just hard, I feel like, to get them. Not bad though. Not horrid. Not. And then I think if I like add some bows or um, ribbon to hide like the shitty parts, then it's not bad. Not bad. Okay, amazing. Okay, we did okay. Proud of us for this. Okay, now what I wanted to do was for the edges of this, I'm gonna cut off all these guys. Instead of like trying to hem it or something, I'm just gonna sew a ribbon along the bottom and that will cover 
all of like the phrase and the weird cuts and so I have this ribbon is what I'm thinking and I'm thinking we start on one side and then we just sew it all the way around and what we're gonna do is unbutton the whole thing so hopefully this will be a little bit easier because I can sew straight If that makes sense. So I'm gonna start by pinning the first one and I'm gonna do it, pin it all the way down. And then Okay, I'm gonna do one more pin actually and then start sewing. And then I'll like stop and pin again is what I'm thinking. Okay, we'll scoot this towards me just a wee bit. Ooh, okay. And then I'm gonna go really slow and remove pins as I go. looks a lot better than I expected um, I do need to trim up the bottom um, so that's what we're gonna do um, there's a couple of spots where I feel like it's not quite even like this is like in the beginning I feel like I overlapped a little bit and then I kind of just like fixed that and I'm fairly the same all the way through so it should be fine I'm not that worried okay so I'm gonna do some trimming real quick okay not bad we might just let the fray happen i think but yeah we're looking pretty good i'm gonna trim some more of the stringy guys from the other one so while i'm cleaning up um i really want to make an outfit for the fourth of july which i'm realizing right now might be a little bit harder than i thought but because I want to use a fabric that, like, I love so much, so I'm just, like, I don't want to do anything until I feel confident that it's going to be good. But, okay, I wanted to add some bows onto this, and so now i got to figure out how I'm going to do those. Um, let's see, we're going to use these. I think what I want to do is just, like... Go like this or something and use the sewing machine she needs to go just to go okay i have a new idea this one might also be stupid Okay, I'm just gonna like try something and see if it works. Okay, so this is this one and I can't decide how I feel about it. I can make like a couple of those. Let's see. What if we did 
just the boobies? What if we did just the boobies? So we can make one more. I think this one might have to be trashed though. Just because I think I want boobies, but maybe make the tail like a little bit longer. Or just because I can't, I don't know how to duplicate this one. So I might have to just make that like a product one, but maybe we just do like just the boobies. You can just like mark where the boobies are. I'm gonna ask, I'm, okay, boyfriend's on his way home. Yeah, good. Okay, boyfriend's on his way home. I'm gonna wait and see what he thinks. Ask him what he thinks. I'm thinking also maybe adding ribbon around on top of the hem, just because the hem's not that great and I wanna take more time with it. And add this on top, right, on top of the hem. So it would be like up in the middle instead of rather than the, on the end, have it on the hem. I'm gonna ask the boy what he thinks. I'll see you guys in a sec. I lied guys because I have other stuff I have to get done today so we're gonna keep going because I have a job to go to. Maybe we make it smaller. Nah, we can't make it smaller. Maybe we make it bigger. Bigger bow. Like. First bow going in. I think this is gonna be so cute when I'm done with it. I'm so excited. Okay. Let's do it. Done. Not really. Guys, I'm a sewing, literally, I'm a sewing god. How does that make you feel? Like, everybody buy something off of me now. I'm awesome, you're not. Okay, one is slightly smaller than the other, but what does that reflect if not boobs? So, hold on, day's home. Bebe! Bebe! Come here! I have tea. I have tea. The camera's rolling. Can I tell you my tea really fast? The camera's rolling. I can cut it out, but the camera. Oh. Look. Okay, so you're gonna cut it out. Okay, wait, that's actually so cute. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna put- You did such a good job, holy ribbon. shit. Okay, but look, it's like not that great. The, the I literally didn't even really know, hard. I literally didn't even notice. But I think what I'm gonna do, hear me out, are the sleeves even? Let me know. Yeah. I'm obsessed with it. We're excited about the top, because it fits my aura. It fits your energy really, really well. Yes, I love it, I'm so excited about it. Um, I made some executive decisions off camera. It's Met boss some. bitch classy. Yes, it's boss bitch, says feminine, says yeah. Love it. Okay, so I've decided that I'm not gonna add any ribbon to the sleeves. I'm just gonna leave them really belly in there. Um, and then I'm just gonna add the the bows. I think I'm gonna, oh, but what if I? Hmm. I think I, oh babe, come back. What if I add them here? If it's just here? Yeah, maybe that. I think I like this a little better. Okay, I know like the like booby thing is so cute and so trendy, but I think I just like this like a tiny bit better. Um, yeah, and this will be like a hand wash only kind of situation. Um, I mean, I could test it in the washer because the bows won't be that hard to add on again, but. We're gonna hand sew the, or hand, I think, I don't know. I don't want to hand sew it because I'd have to take apart the machine because I have one of the, or I could use silver. But, anyways, let's hand sew this on and then we'll call it a day, guys. Or, well, not, maybe we won't hand sew it. I don't know. But the best part about doing it down there is that I can measure out exactly where I want them. I might have to hand sew it guys But I think I'm just going to hand sew it in like This creamy silvery one That's right here That's what I'm thinking Is like 
yeah, like this won't be that noticeable. I'm, I'm gonna try to like hand sew it into like the center almost. So then it's a little more chill. Yeah, that's a break. And I know that this was like me learning how to sew, but I did in fact do that. I did kind of learn how to sew. Okay, let's sew this on. Okay, we said four inches. Let's double check that everybody. Mm. I'm gonna show you at the end of this video how crazy my setup looks right now. Okay, the center will be at approximately four. I kind of hated that. We're doing it again. Just because I went through the center thinking that like the loopy guys would hide the um, knot, but we're gonna do it on the opposite side because you can in fact see the knot and I hate it. Okay guys, I finished it. Okay, here is the finished product. I actually really like it and I can't wait to style it and I think I want to, I don't know, I have a bunch of ways that I want to style it, but maybe when I finally do like a summer, spring lookbook situation, I'll style it or I would love to do like a styling things that I've made series, like when I have enough stuff, because technically I've made like uh, two crochet, three crochet tops in this, so like if I make enough stuff, I could do like a styling things that I've made but I don't know this is the finishing product I hope you guys like this video give it a thumbs up um subscribe and I would love to do more sewing videos with you guys um depending on how this one turns out but I hope you guys liked it and uh I'll see you guys next time okay bye